Welcome back. You're watching Creating Cooperative Kids, and I'm your host, Bill Corbett. Ever find yourself with so much clutter that you're afraid you might be nominated by your friends as a, as a future guest for one of those TV shows like Hoarders? <laughs> well, uh, for some of us, it sure can seem that way until we lose something important or miss an important appointment, and then we take immediate action to get organized. Well, my next guests have some easy to implement techniques for staying better organized. Patel Arnold is a wife, mother, minister, inspirational speaker, and a certified Christian life coach. Lena Nascom Benny is the sole proprietor of Simply Organized, a cleaning and organizing business, and volunteers as a Sunday school teacher at her church. Together, they are the producers and hosts of the, of the Community Access TV show Simply Talking, which is currently airing on 10 Community Access channels here in New England. They are working on a new book, 13 Lucky Ways to Beat Clutterism Disease and will share some of those concepts with us today. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Bill, for having us. Uh, well, we, we met uh, kind of through social media, yes. and we're, we, don't, we live in the, in the same area in New England, and I was amazed to, to learn that you guys had a show. Yeah. And of course, it piqued my interest, <laughs> because I finally get to meet another producer you know, about your show. Mm -hmm. And so tell me a little bit about the show. Where did it come from, and why are you doing a TV show? Well, actually, it actually came through. We were, we really wanted to help women out, you know. And one day we were just walking and talking, and we decided, you know what, maybe we should put some of our ideas together and just create a program that will help women and talk about topics that affect their everyday living. And that's what we did. Yeah, it's, she made it sound easy, but it was <laughs> blood, sweat, <laughs> tears work. for two and a half years. <laughs> But so is it fun? Yes, it's, it's a fun. lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's yes. a lot of fun because we know each other so well. We play yes. off of each other. And it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. So you have, like, girlfriend talk. Well, we live two streets away from each oh. other. And okay. she finishes my sentences. Yes. <laughs> you know? Okay. So how do you come up with your material? Um, for the topics for your show? We kind of think about what interests us, believe it or mm -hmm. not, and people that we meet, like the women we meet, we kind of see some of their concerns, and we kind of go with that. You know, it, it, it kind of works out good like that. We just... Right. Uh, Kind of share sharing. topics that affect yeah. your everyday living. Right. We think about women right. and you know what is important to us as mothers, mm -hmm. housewives. Well, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that we are all experts in many areas, mm -hmm. and even though we don't think we are, yeah. especially in our own circles. In our own circle, we're just the common person, but we all yes. have great knowledge and wisdom and, in, and insight because we can't know everything. And when, when we take mm -hmm. the opportunity to learn from like shows like yours and like mine and reading, it just enhances our, our lives. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so let's get right to your book that you're working on. Okay. So why don't you, let, we're talking to parents, so let's offer parents um, some declutterization tips. What, what do you want to start with? Well, the first thing is you definitely have to purge. Like just go into your home and Take stock of everything that you have. If you're walking in the door and you're feeling restless and you have way too much stuff, mm -hmm. you definitely have to do something about Can it. Can I just check to see if my wife is watching the show <laughs> just so she heard that one? I'm sorry. Definitely. And your wife's going to feel better, too, because uh, when she she's, is. you have to cooperate with her, though, and so do the children, <laughs> because when you say, um, when she says to you, honey, I'd like to get rid of this, you need to kind of go by what she says. Right, I can't go, wait, 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 no, 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 the no, no, don't like I'm to sure you can use that someday, yeah. right? Listen to <laughs> Lena, she raised eight children, mm -hmm. and she had to be really organized to make sure that her home was running smoothly. Yeah, we just had what we needed, and anything else went out. I'm still doing it. Even today, before the show, <laughs> I, I said to her, I talked to the tell today, I just dropped off some uh, clothes to Goodwill, and when I was there, I picked up something, but that's okay as long You're as I... You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> no, you can, as long as you, if you get rid of some, you can take one thing when you get rid of it. Right. One right. thing, one Buy to one. something, right. donate something. Right. right. Because Buy if not, your house you is have too many. You know, back up. I think a lot of that comes from the fact that when we were kids, we had nothing. A lot of us grew, mm -hmm. grew up in poor homes, poor neighborhoods. Yes, we had nothing. Right. And mm -hmm. so we're still living in that, uh, uh, I want to collect this stuff because I'm sure somebody can use it somewhere. You know, somebody uh, less fortunate. We have fortunate. too much. And I think uh, mm -hmm. women are guilty. We have too many shoes, too much clothes. That's another thing. You need to go in your closets. If you haven't worn something for a year, donate it. Uh, go to a second-hand shop if you uh, want to put it on consignment, if it's something that you paid a lot for. But, um, you know, and don't wait till you lose weight to get into that dress. because Like you I did. That's what I know. I was <laughs> waiting. I, had, I started saying, okay, well, you know what? 
I love this dress. I'm just going to buy it one size smaller, mm -hmm. and that's going to motivate me to lose weight. Women well, do that. It's still there. Mm -hmm. Men still haven't don't. done it. On your apology to my wife, I was only <laughs> kidding. She's actually way better than I am at I'm getting sure rid of stuff. Is. I'm sure she uh, is. I could, I could find a purpose for just about everything that, uh, that we, we should get rid of. So uh, and I, was only, I was only you kidding. You know you had to go home tonight. Yeah. That's so, right. yeah. <laughs> All right, so what else? What else can you offer well, from your Well, get the children involved. A lot of our mm -hmm. children have a lot of toys that they don't need. Have them go through it. Again, have a be creative. Have a, a garage sale and have them have their own little table where they can uh, earn some money to get rid of their toys rather than uh, many times, well, you know that the children don't like to get rid of things. Oh, I got that. Or Auntie Susie bought me that. or You know, but you mm -hmm. want to get rid of it. And that's a way to kind of get them to get involved with, uh, you know, going through their toys and even their clothes. I, I learned early on that if you have too much stuff all over the place, it, it speaks to you, it talks to you, <laughs> yes. not verbally, but psychologically. Mm -hmm. When you walk into a room, or if you walk into an office and you have like 20 things laid out on your desk, every one of them is going, pick me up, pick me up, follow me, follow me, pick me up, pick me up, follow me. And it, it's, it can drive you crazy. That's because everything in your home is vying for your attention. Yes. Your husband, your children, <laughs> and your possessions. And your everything possessions. wants your attention. So always think about that. Another thing that you have to be aware of is that everything has a place. Yes. Everything has a mm -hmm. place. If you look at something, you pick it up, where, the, where does this go? So then when you pick it up, you know where it goes, and so does the rest of the family. If it doesn't have a place, donate it or find a place for it, and then find that it. will keep your house organized. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, I was thinking um, as uh, children are going back to school uh, for their papers that you might have to sign or you know how parents get so many papers that the teachers want them to read or they want them to look at so I was thinking you know you just put a little bin for the children to put their stuff in as they come in the door right in where the entranceway is I don't know if you have an entranceway or a hallway like a bin for them to put their uh, paperwork that you might have to sign anything that might be in important and also I think an entranceway if you have one is a good place to um, for children to learn where you know to keep a backpack, keep their backpack there, keep their shoes and boots out there, rather than bring them through the house too. I'm I'm thinking that's part you know partly to help us keep our homes clean, and at the same time organized. And if they get used to that designated place. After a while, it might take a few weeks, but they, they will do it. They will follow through. And you're right. Everything has a place. Yes. Um, how, what's that for, saying? A place for everything and everything for yes. its yes. place. Yes. And it sometimes it's so hard to figure out where something needs to go. Um, we're just about out of time. Offer one more tip. One more well, tip. Socks. That's a big one. Oh, I had buckets and buckets of socks. And what do I do with all these socks? Um, one thing that you can do is you can buy a mesh bag. Give one to each of your family member. When the sock gets dirty, they're both, you gotta wear socks that match. Take your socks and put it inside that mesh bag. Mm -hmm. Give it to mom when she launders, put it in the, laundry. you know, yeah. wash yeah. it and then yeah. distribute it out to your family. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming on thank the show you. and, and offering us some tips because I think, you know, we all need those reminders. So good luck on your show. Thank good luck you. on, on the thank book. You. Thank and, you. And so um, I think parents will get a lot of, out of these things, so. Good. Uh, we have to keep in mind that our children can be easily influenced by the environment we create at home. So know that it's never too late to change our habits, especially if we know our children are watching us every day. They may learn from our life and recreate it in their own. Now on the other side of this break, I'm going to ask some of my guests to come back and help me answer the question that I got from a viewer living in South Africa about what we parents can do to create a better life for our children if our own was less than respectable. You're gonna to wanna to hear what my answers are and my guest answers are, so don't go away, we'll be right back.